What's going on everybody? Here we go. Different type of video. Trying to keep it different at least. This is the newest addition to our cleaning arsenal. AKA, I do not want to scratch my paint more than I have to. So I'm trying different things. This is made by a company called Ego, I guess. Ego. I, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But this is a 575 CFM cordless blower. I've been doing a lot of research and you know a lot of you have seen in my previous videos that I have this dusty master blaster 8 horsepower blower and it's definitely great it takes this gigantic hose and it's cool and whatever the problem with that unit is I I'm dragging it around on the ground it's corded which I, I'm not a big fan of and honestly, I, I just I just want something more maneuverable. This is cordless, it's brushless. This is, you know, as far as I've done the research, a really good alternative to what I've been dealing with right now. Real quick, let's just uh, go over the back thing here, and then I'm gonna open it up, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. We're gonna charge it, and then we're just gonna see how it blows the water off the car. Uh, I'll probably wash my car, and then we'll just see if it can get the water off quick enough. Uh, being a handheld unit that's pretty awesome the other thing that's awesome is how fast the air is going to be coming out of this machine what's really cool is it's 260 to 575 cfm it's variable speed which on the handle there's like a little throttle so if i want i can have it on the low setting or the fastest setting which i i forget exactly what it was i'll double check but i think it was something like 140 mile an hour coming out of this which is really ridiculous you know it's ridiculous but it's awesome it's obviously just by looking at it you don't have to read this it's turbine it's got a spread nozzle attachment if you want to not have it in a circular uh, fashion I mean this might be cool too because I got a lot of flat panels on the car we're gonna try weather resistant awesome and also it charges in 100 minutes can't beat that and it's got a five-year warranty so I'm expecting some good things we're gonna do the unboxing here show you what it comes packaged as because I had this ordered online and it came to my house this was three hundred and fifty dollars but I did catch a sale and I had a, um, a discount from a gift card so I can't be specific with how much this is going to cost you at the time of when you're actually looking at this video or when you're looking to purchase it so let's open the box so I was going to do some kind of awesome tripod setup so I can get some cool angles but that attachment is upstairs and I'm not running up the stairs so this is what it looks like when you open up the box you got an owner's manual and some other crap which I won't read you've got what looks like the main tube here so we're gonna put that aside you have the flat fan attachment you've got the super cool ego uh, shoulder strap we've got our 56 volt cordless battery and last but not least we have the main unit actually no not last but not least we have the charger which is buried under there and I'm glad I didn't throw that out so this is what it ends up looking like I'm gonna be honest one thing I really like just right out of the box that I'm enjoying right now is there's like a flat base going on here so if I want to rest this down somewhere the nozzle's not dipping down, the back end's not lifting up, you know, there's no issues. It's flat laying down. If I want to put it on the ground, if I want to put it on a shelf, that's cool. So this is what the assembled product looks like. When you're putting it together, you're just basically slotting it in, and it's got little release tabs. So just make sure you push it in enough for the clips to lock. Let's plug this in. So with the battery, this thing has some hefty weight to it without even trying it i accidentally touched this and i can hear something moving over we're just going to hit the trigger and we're going to see what this does holy shit now we got our little throttle trigger um i think if you slide this back all the way it's going to lock trigger in and it's going to turn it on i think what we're going to do here is we're just going to turn this on and we're gonna see what we can do I think it's gonna be as fast as it can go cuz I'm gonna I'm, I'm punching a throttle here like I'm in a car and we're just gonna see a quick Lipton test okay well um, 
I'm not sure how charged the battery is. That's a dirty towel, by the way, anyway. But it, it sounds pretty good. It turns on. Oh, shit. Okay, well, that's gone forever. I'll probably never find that again. Let me see. While it's sitting on the table, because it's kind of hard to film without a tripod. Now, I'm not hitting the throttle button, but if I... I don't know how this works, and I don't want to read the manual, so we're going to learn real quick. If I... Oh, it's pushing the throttle in as I move it. Okay, so you can either have a manual control to decide how hard you want to put it in, or you can lock it in and just hold it here. So if I want to keep it on medium. Or full. Look at it, look. It's pushing itself backwards. Okay, that's pretty cool. So I'm going to charge this and I'm going to probably set up for a car wash and we'll just see what it does to the water. Just a quick side note, I plugged this in and it sounds like a turbine freaking like a bomb's about to go off. There's like a, a detonating sequence going on here. I don't, is that a button? Strange, strange, strange. It sounds like a turbo. All right, hold on, <laughs> leaf blower, let's go, here we go, get this side. Go ahead. Oh my god. <laughs> GoPro's recording. And let's let's gooch it. that's about it I'm just gonna end it here and tell you a few things real quick that I feel personally they're both pretty much in the same price range I believe this one was somewhere between high twos and high threes this was three hundred fifty dollars um, they both produce quite a bit of air I feel like this moves more water in in larger areas but not as fine-tuned as this because of the nozzle and I feel like ease of use this one's a little easier to use as far as holding this, but to maneuver it, this one's easier. So I feel like if this had an attachment that had that point, this would be the king. But again, this runs on power, so I'm not going to run out of juice. This has a battery and it is cordless, so this can run out. There, there are just pros and cons. I feel like... You know, this also has other purposes for leaf blowing and other things that you would need a leaf blower for. Um, maybe there's a spider on the ceiling and you want to shoot them down and you can't reach them. Again, I'm a pack rat and I like tools and toys, so I'm keeping them both until further notice. If you do want me to do a more in-depth video on this one in particular, let me know. I'm down. If not, it's okay. 
Thank you for watching. Please leave a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't. Again, leave comments. I love comments. Unless you're a douchebag, then expect to get boom roasted. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you on the next one.